What is up, YouTube? Blood Rampage here, bringing you Hunting Simulator. Uh, if you've watched any of my stuff before and listened to any of my Platinum Trophies, you'd realize that I play some unique games. I think this one kind of has to be on that list because... Well, it's called Hunting Simulator but doesn't quite feature a lot of the aspects of actually hunting. Essentially, this game came out around the same time as The Hunter Call of the Wild, which definitely puts into perspective a hunting simulator and the actual theme of hunting compared to this. Essentially, with this one, you get like a Cabela's... Uh, style hunting game, not an actual, like, hunting simulator game, despite the name, of course. Um, now, this video I recorded without audio before, so I'm doing this afterwards. This is just gameplay I did trying to do the hunting through the campaign part of it. But, essentially, what you do is they give you a quest list in the campaign thing. And you have to get, like, one... In this case, I think it was one red fox. Sometimes it's two European hares. Sometimes it's three moose. It's just... It's different every time. And they give you, like, little side objectives, too. But, essentially, you don't do anything relatively similar to hunting besides... Oh, here's an animal. Let me try to be quiet. Let them not get a whiff of me and here let me shoot it so it's dead that that's the only aspects it really adds in there um i can't call it a hunting simulator because it doesn't involve like at least hunting in a blind trying to bait animals towards you like it does have calls and everything but they're very ineffective and they, they don't really help you one bit. Um, if I had to go by a scale of 1 to 10 for this game, I would be probably, if I compared it to Hunter Call of the Wild, I would say this is probably a 4. And that is at least an 8, Hunter Call of the Wild. This is just... Definitely not what I was hoping for in a game. The only benefit for me was it was an easy platinum. So actually at the time of me recording the audio on this, I've actually already sold the game and had the platinum. Um, I just had a bunch of clips that I definitely need to delete. This is the one I chose to use. Um, the game could have been a lot better if it had a few better aspects to it. I mean, you could shoot some animals like Point Blake and uh, Blake, Blink in the head, and they won't die. Like it shows a red spot on them where you hit them, and they're not dead. But you could hit a rabbit in its tail, and it's dead. So they definitely didn't do anything involving that. Now, on the plus side of things for it, since I've been bashing it quite a bit, it does feature a lot of nice weapons in there. Anything from a, a .243 to a .30-06. I mean, crossbow, it's got a compound bow. It's got tons of weapons in there, and it's actually really nice. They do a really good job, and they look really great. Um... They feature a decent amount of calls in there. Uh, they even have wind powder to help you determine the direction of the wind, because that does affect how much an animal sees you or smells you and all that. Um, let's see. One thing I don't quite like about it is, in the equipment, you can unlock a drone, and the drone is pretty much useless unless you're hunting bigger game. Other than that, it's not very good at all. And they do have night vision goggles because they literally have times where you're hunting at, like, pitch black time 
and you need those night vision goggles. So sometimes you have to come back so you can actually see... Like, once you get those night vision goggles, you have to go back to a level that you missed before so you could actually see to kill an animal. Uh, the way that I was playing it, I was on the hardest difficulty, which didn't give you many tracks, and you had to definitely watch where you were going, otherwise you could screw up and scare everything away. Not a lot of animals spawned, so it made it tough. But all in all, the games, if you really want to play the game because it looks somewhat interesting to you like it did to me, shoot for the Platinum because it's not that tough. The only thing that really sucks about it is the campaign is kind of lengthy, and sometimes it feels like the animals don't want to spawn. I had a few levels where nothing would spawn for me. Because they have levels where you need to, oh, kill two turkey and kill one pheasant. Well, you'll always find the turkey, but you can never find the pheasant or the other way around. So, it could have been a lot better. I paid 15 bucks for it and sold it for 15 so I didn't lose anything. So, I'm not very upset. <laughs> I got a little bit of enjoyment. I believe they do have multiplayer on this game, which I wasn't going to mess with. And they do have free hunts that you can do. You could just go out and shoot any animal you want. Um, all in all, like I said, maybe this game I'll maybe boost it up to a 5 to make it feel better. I don't want to be too harsh. This... I, I kind of wish I didn't play it, but I'm kind of glad I didn't buy it at full price because I was originally going to buy this and not Hunter Call of the Wild, but I'm really glad about Hunter Call of the Wild, even though it is pretty frustrating. So, you're more than welcome to continue watching this video. There's still about eh, six minutes left. Uh... It's pretty much just going to show me hunting and probably not finding anything. I don't remember what was all completely in this clip. So, uh, if you want to keep watching, go for it. Appreciate you viewing this video if you have already. And I'm going to keep trying to get more videos out. I just, I've been in like a slump and I don't play enough or play any other games to make videos on. So it kind of blows. Uh, I'm going to try to get something here soon. I think I'm going to record a card pack opening for Madden because I got about 550k. So that will be posted here soon once I decide to drop new content. Um, so once again, thank you all for watching this video. I ho hope you stick with me and watch more to come. Uh, just hope you all have a wonderful day and thanks again for watching.